For a while, I've wanted to let our characters wear weapons the game doesn't normally allow. For balance reasons, I assume. Forget that. This is D&D, a literal realm of fantasy. Our characters are able to defeat minotaurs, ogres, robots, and avatars of the gods. While I've never done tabletop, I would like to think that a DM would allow his players to equip the same tree trunks a minotaur could swing if the player character was measurably strong. In Baldur's Gate 3, we can bolster our strength values several ranks higher than our enemies. The Apostle of Merkel has a strength of 23, the Steel Watchers bolster a value of 18. Also, I just want to. I am playing this as a single player game. Let's mod this. First, I looked around for a tutorial. There was one on Nexus mods. I downloaded it and... With each picture sorted by name, you can create your own item. But we're actually working a little smaller scale than that. Obviously, first I looked to see if there were mods for this. However, they do appear to be out of date, which is totally understandable considering these mods have a separate individual author each, and they're going to have real life responsibilities, keeping them from keeping up with an entire studio that is paid to maintain and update their game. Scripting and filming this modding segment is actually way more work than the rehearsals and playing of the game, but I'm doing this in case you also wanted to mod your game to equip these other weapons. The first step is to get the modder's multi-tool. I assume every single Modder's Gate mod starts with this. The author's name is Shiny Hobo, and you will be looking for something called the modder's multi-tool. On the right frame, I don't know if frame is the right word, but on the right bar, you'll want to click on releases or the most recent patch. You probably can't go around clicking on the releases, as the posts themselves will change from day to day. And in current day time, it says Fatal Fix Part 2. This is just whatever the programmer wrote for the title of his post. It's called Fatal Fix because this fixes a fatal crash to desktop when trying to clean out temporary files. Fatal does not, any, it's not anything you need to be scared of. This, this is just what he labeled it. He could have easily labeled it improved graphic interface and then put in like a splash screen or something. This will change. We want to go to bg 3 modders multitoolzip and go and download that. As with any file on the internet, go ahead and scan it with your favorite protection software. When you're ready to continue, go ahead and run the EXE program, click on Utilities Unpack Mod, and then find your way to your Baldur's Gate data folder. By default, it's in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, which is where your programs are located, then the name of your software program, Baldur's Gate, and then inside is an individual folder called Data. The ones modders will probably use will be Gustav.pack as well as shared.pack. We'll be needing the shared.pack one, so go ahead and do that. Your computer will need time to unpack this, so go make yourself a sandwich or something, you deserve it. Then after a couple minutes, it will finish. Even though it says decompression completed in this number of time, it's not done yet, it still has to finish unpacking. So just wait for the extra pop-up to disappear. Then navigate back to your folder where your multi-tool exe is and head inside to unpacked mods. You'll find things such as shared public. Then you have another one that goes shared and shared dev. We will actually want to go inside both of them. So we're gonna share it first and then we'll look for stats. Generated. Data. Weapon.txt. <laughs> Press control F for find. Type in use condition. Here we have a null sword that can only be used by nulls. Let's just go ahead and delete that whole line. If you're a real modder and you're cringing at what I just did, please feel free to, to offer your advice in the comments below. I don't know what I'm doing, which is one of the reasons why I can't really say like, hey, in good conscience, I'm releasing this mod for you to download. I don't want to break people's games, okay? But this is just my, my, my very brutal lobotomy. When you find us, the intellect of our, and you have a chance to stick your thumbs into its brain, that's this. We'll go ahead and delete this one as well. These are null items, and we don't actually care too much about them, but there's only two of them. We'll keep going through all the use conditions and get rid of them. We have Minotaur Great Club, find the next one, Ogre Club. And if you're in Act 3, you're probably not going to find Minotaurs and Ogres. This is for Act 1 stuff. We're going to save. We can cut and move this to the proper location right now, but I'm trying to keep my directions clear. So we'll go on to the next weapon.txt file. We want to go back to shared, public. We last went through shared folder, and we're this time going to go to shared dev folder. Go back to stats, generated, 
data, weapon.txt. If you're in Act 2 or 3, this is what you're looking for. As with last time, find, that's Control F, use condition. Here's a brewer mace. This is the thorn that drinks in Act 2. Then here's Orthon crossbow, that would be your gear. Orthon short sword, I'm guessing that's also your gear. Apostle Scythe, that'd be the, the avatar of Merkel. Watch your greatsword. That's what, probably what you're looking for. And then Watch your greatsword B does not appear to have a use condition. Watch your heavy crossbow. We'll go and get rid of that as well. And that should be it. Yeah. We'll save this. Now we have modded these files. What we need to do is we need to go into our game directory and put these files in. If you've made it this far, congratulations, we're almost done. But be warned, this next section can be a little confusing. Go ahead and create a folder, call it public. Inside the folder, you want to create shared. Go inside that folder, you want to create stats. Go inside that folder, you want to create generated. And inside that folder, you want to create data. All right. Obviously, there's not going to be anything here. We want to put the weapon.txt from the shared folder in here. Not to be confused with the shared dev folder. Well, also, while we're talking about it, let's go ahead and make a copy and paste of this. Rename it to shared dev. Because the directory structures are parallel or the same. So you want to make sure the appropriate weapon text goes in this one. That's the Act 1 stuff. And the Act 2 stuff goes in shared dev. If you're following along and you need to move the weapon.txt files into their appropriate directories, go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, ready to continue? Control X, our public folder, since we don't need that here anymore. And then navigate your way to your Baldur's Gate game directory. This is the same location as when you were unpacking those .pack files. Enter the data folder, and you might already have a public folder from other mods. If you don't, that's a good sign. It means that we have no complications. If you do, Understand that overwriting will delete other files of the exact same directory and file name structure, which is unlikely in our case, unless you already have a weapon mod that you've put in here. Go ahead and paste, and we're done. Take a look. Our public folder has shared and shared dev, and we can just make sure that we have a weapon.txt file in here. If so, we're golden. We just need to start the game. If you've done everything correctly, your weapon will change from this to this. Now, because we did a very crude job on the weapon.txt file, we didn't add the property to make this a two-handed weapon. That would be reasonable. Because we didn't, it is essentially a one-handed weapon. If that bothers you, unequip your shield. Or go back and start modifying the text file to be more like what you want. I'll give you some examples. I've set up this chest here with some items from the game, such as the Watcher Greatsword. Let's go and equip this. We take a look at it, it does not actually have any weapon skills such as cleave or pommel strike. So you might, if you feel like it, add those things in. The weapon range is abysmal because we haven't set any sort of special weapon range. Maybe you think that it should have as much range as a spear. Go nuts! If you're like me and you know nothing about the weapon properties, just take a look at the other weapons in the weapon.txt file, such as a glaive or a greatsword. We can also do things such as have the watcher crossbow or the hand crossbow from the Yurgir. All of these weapons should work. Now, I'm not saying they'll look good, but that, that one looks reasonable. The or, the Orthon's hand crossbow, less so. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this beginner's video. All right, I'm looking forward to the next episode, are you? Please support the channel by hitting that like button. Thank you for watching the video to the end. I'll see you in the next one.